Hello again everyone, this is Bob Martin with the Nautilus Dry Docks and uh, wanted to take a few minutes and talk to you about radios for RC submarines. As a note, uh, before we get started on a specific radio I want to show you, you're going to want to have a low frequency radio. Now uh, across the sea, uh, we're talking about Europe and some of the other countries, typically they operate on 40 megahertz. Uh, here in North America, the standard frequency for surface craft operation is 75 megahertz. Uh, now, 72 megahertz, the old aircraft frequency, will also work, but technically it's illegal to utilize, so just bear that in mind. Today, though, I wanted to share with you uh, a radio system that I carry here at the Dry Docks uh, that is actually really inexpensive and powerful, so I wanted to show you uh, what that looks like and how it works. So you may have seen these radios on the market. These are put out by a company called Vex Robotics. These are six channel computerized radios and for the dollar they're actually exceptionally powerful. I like them for RC submarine use. They operate on 75 megahertz frequencies. Uh, some of the Futaba receivers also talk nicely uh, to this unit. Uh, let me take a couple minutes. I'll show you some of the features of this radio and how it works. All right, now that we uh, get a closer look at the radio here, we can see the uh, main uh, control uh, levers, channels one through four on the front, and they're actually labeled out, which actually means that uh, plugging in your receiver for your different functions is a fairly simple procedure. We've got uh, trim tabs on the front. We can access our menus uh, through these buttons, but uh, let's go ahead and turn it on here right now, and that's with this switch. This gives us a voltage readout on the front, 11.4 volts. Uh, standard AA batteries in these units. And I like that uh, in that just so you have some spare batteries at the pond, um, you'll always have power for your transmitter. You don't need to worry about having to get a charger out there, which is sometimes somewhat problematic. Uh, I'm just going to go through some of the main features uh, in these menu. There's additional features that you can explore as well. Uh, but to access the main menu, you press and hold both of these buttons and it's right listed on the front. Press both. Press and hold. We're going to select our uh, functionality here by hitting mode. This is servo reversing. So you can select your channel with this select channel button. Um, so for example, if I wanted to choose channel 3, I would do that. And you got an up arrow for standard operation and down for reversing. So nice easy reversing of all of your servo channels. Uh, you can scale the output from 100 down to 0. Again, select your channel with the channel button. And then you can select your percentages by simply scrolling with the, uh, with the button there. You can edit your um, endpoints to make sure that you don't overthrow your linkages. Again, select your channel, uh, select your percentages. Uh, you can adjust trim on each individual channel. And you can also uh, set up channel mixing with this functionality as well. So, like I said, you know, for a cheap radio, it actually has a ton of functionality built into it. Um, these units retail for about $138 with a nice six channel receiver. Uh, if you're interested in this or any other products, by all means, check out NautilusDryDocks.com. Um, thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoy this. Try out this radio. It's great. Works great for uh, subs. Six channels gives you lots of functionality. Four channels for control and two extra channels for all the extra goodies like torpedoes and all that fun stuff. So, again, I am Bob Martin with the Nautilus Dry Docks. Thank you for joining me. Hope you like the radio. Hope you enjoy my videos. Subscribe if you do. We'll catch you next time. Thank you.